We are in IIS, Internet Information Services, and Windows Server 2019. Let's see how we can turn on or off authentication for anonymous access. If we click on authentication on our default website in IIS, we see that anonymous by default is enabled. So that basically means if I go to the default website on this IP address, I should get right in. And there it is. This is our website. That's the uh, page that we created in a previous one when we were showing how to create a website. All right, but let's say we don't want to do that anymore. Let's say we're going to choose disable to anonymous authentication, and we're going to turn on Windows authentication instead. So we have a couple of options. One is basic and one is Windows, and they both pull from Active Directory's username and password list. However, basic authentication is going to send everything in clear text, whereas Windows authentication will encrypt your connection, even though we're using port 80. So let's go ahead and choose Windows authentication, but if that does give you any problems, you can switch over to basic. So now we're going to highlight enable, and now our authentication for Windows is turned on. So let's go back to our web browser, and let's go back to our same page. And now we're getting a prompt for a username and password. So we'll put in our domain name, and we'll use our administrator username. And we'll click OK, and we should see our website. And look at that, there we do. There's our website. Fantastic. If we just tried to go in without any authentication, then it just wouldn't work. So we would get that pop-up box constantly popping up saying, you've got to authenticate first. So we know the administrator works, but what if we want to allow other users to work? So all we have to do is right-click on the website and go to Edit Permissions and go to the Security tab. From here, we can click Edit and click Add, and here's where you would type in the name of the user that you want, and then you can click OK, and then that user will now have whatever access you give them. So you need to have them have at least what you see under the Users list, which is Read and Execute, List Folder Contents, and Read. So those are going to be the minimum that you need in order to be able to log in to see the website. They don't need any more access than that, but you can certainly give it to them if you want to. So that is how you manage permissions and anonymous authentication in IIS and Windows Server 2019.